Guys, today we're going to be doing a video about a buffalo head skull mount. So if you're not a hunter and you don't like watching stuff like this, I would go ahead and turn the video now. Find something else because, you know, humans eat meat. We like it. So here we go. We're not going to try to sugarcoat it. This is what it is. Now, first of all, this is a buffalo that my cousin killed on a ranch where you pay to go hunt. Pay for your hunt. You can hunt buffalo, hog, several other things, even beefalo. Zebras. Which is a mix. So, what we're going to do is we're going to flesh this out and get all the skin off the bone, the hide, and then we're going to take and clean the skull after it's all the meat's gone, hide everything, and make a mound out of it. It's going to take a long time, so it's going to be in different segments. So we're going to start. Now first of all, we're going to take this and flip it over because it's just too big to start at the back and peel down. It's a big animal. A 40 pound head. Yeah, it's around 30 to 40 pound. We're going to make a cut from here to the part of, lower part of the bottom jaw to the tongue. This has been frozen for a while, so we just unthawed it. It's, you know, a little still, a little frozen, which actually helps you out a little bit in this situation. You go under and pull. I'm going to try to save the high because I want to be tanning it later. Let's move the fur a little as you go. Don't chop it up. All the way to the bottom of the lip, toward the tongue, and the front of the mouth. Go back away a little. The way you get a... <clears throat> this is a big animal, guys. Tough. Over the jaw bones here, you'll see the jaw bones, which we're going to try to do a video later about how once these are cleaned and processed, we're going to make a knife out of one. You see the tongue sticks out of the mouth here. Any animal pretty much does this once it's hunted. We're going to roll away the tip of that. We're gonna to have to do some stopping here periodically to sharpen knives because this is gonna take some sharp knives to do. And here we go. All right, there we go. You wanna lay it open. Fold it back as you go, give it a pull and cut, pull and cut. Still a little frozen, so we may have to stop and let her unthaw a little bit here and there, so. And this is the first video I've ever been in in my life, so I'm not really, a little bit camera shy. Sorry about any awkwardness. Just keep going along as straight as you can. Okay, when you cut through, I'll give you a little leverage here. You can then go right along the jawbone. Trying not to cut the fur anywhere, but if we do, it's no big deal. I can fix it. A little bit of grass he was feeding, so he never knew what hit him until it was too late. 
fixado. Remember, guys, if you're a hunter and if you don't like to eat the meat, I'm sure there's someone near you that love to have it. So ask around, and if nobody near you wants it, call your local DNR office. I'm sure they can tell you someone that would like to have it because, you know, I'm sure there's someone would want it. Don't let nothing go to waste. None of this went to waste. It was all ate. It's great meat. You know, I do not believe in wasting food. If you hunt it, eat it. Or make sure it's eaten. See, now it's already starting to get pretty dull. And it was good and sharp when we started. Okay. Side of It's a big animal, guys. It just takes a lot of time. I want to back away. I'll make it a long, a bit longer shot. Feel right against that skull when you get to the other part of the upper part of the snout bone. Kind of get against that skull and come up. And you're gonna take the meat off with it quite a bit, but you can take it off when you flush the hide if you want to save it. If not, your goal is to get all the meat you can off the skull anyhow. So. You know you're at the lower part of the jaw, so if you want to save the height on that, just keep close. Right around the under part of the lip, top part of the snout rather, where it's upside down. And the eye sockets are here close to those just back off for now if you want to save the high if not just keep cutting you're gonna hurt nothing if you go through the high we're trying to save the high so we're gonna to have to take a break here in a few minutes to do some sharpening we're already dull top lip right here so we can cut around Okay, once you make that cut around that top snout, you want to stand this head up on the upper end. Here we go. Okay, once you do that, pull the hive back and hold. We're going to switch knives here to something a little bigger. And we're at the nostrils. That's why I'm using a bigger knife so I can break through. There it is. He's a grass on his tongue. Yeah. Yeah, he's Check that eating, out, guys. He, yeah, he was grazing when he was shot. He it, Happened quick. He didn't know what hit him. Great eating. He's a great eating. He's a raise on a farm, so yeah, they raise plenty of them. We'll see if we can find where the name of the farm where my cousin got him. Maybe give it to you guys at the end of the video. Or if anybody wants to go on a hunt, you can. I'm sure it's not that cheap. 
Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'd be worth it. Just the experience on. It just depends what size that you kill, guys. Yeah, they have beefalo, which is a cross between cattle and buffalo. Then they got these regular buffalo. Yeah, make sure your horns are laying flat when you do any pushing. I'm gonna come around this side. Now here's where the hide gets a little thin. It's way harder. And when we get up toward the top, we're going to have to make a wide incision around the from the end of the skull out, so we can get to the horns to trim around them. We're going to have to get ready to take a break here in a minute, so we can sharpen some knives here. They're starting to get a little dull, <laughs> as expected. Big animal. And the eyeballs, we're getting right to the eyeballs here. Just kind of keep close to your hide and you'll see. You know, a lot of us just touch and go. Anybody ever goes to do anything like this, skull mounts, it's just jump in there and go with it. You'll figure it out as you go. Because you're wanting the skull anyway, not the hide itself. Especially if it's on a deer or something, so. You know, you're not going to hurt anything by punching through it. I'm trying to save it. I'm sure I'll make a mistake or two. You know, I'll flesh it out later. Save the hide, but... Remember, keep pressure down. Now I'm right against the skull here, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, we're... We're going to have to take a break and sharpen this knife. Let's take a break a second. Okay, guys, we're just finishing up sharpening the knives here. It's going to take a couple more seconds. You can see this is a very big animal. All right, we're going to try to continue to go around these eyes here. Might have to get you a glove, son, and help me hold it up a little bit as I go. There you go. Get you one. You can lay the camera down. I'm going to lay you guys down a second and put People this glove on. understand that. I need you to hold the under part of the jaw here. You may want to put it on the other hand where you're holding it. All right, just keep your hand against that. All right, you ready? Yes. Here we go. I'm going to go around the eyes. This should be right here. Slick, isn't it? Yeah, just cutting against that bone is really easy. See, I cut through the hide a little right there, but, I mean, I can't help that. It's, it's a big animal. Keep it balanced there. That's some thick hide, fellas. That is some thick stuff. Here we go. Connecting through the eyes here. And we'll keep going right around the socket. I see there's a bone here, so you gotta kinda pull the hide over top of that. Okay, there we go. Let me turn it. Okay, we'll go to the next one. I want to back away a little with the camera, but we need to see a wider second eye over here. So you can see. Come around the other side. Right, here we are. There's the second one. You need me to hold that? Go around and then you go back to this bone right here on the top, make a cut, and then you can get down and go around. The top part of that eye socket. Remember that hump's right there. Go around the top part of that eye socket. And then you can take off and go a little more. The horns is going to be the tricky part. Make an incision to go around them. Back 
Put your nice other one. Come over here again. Do you want me to take this glove off? You're on. I need you to hold it. Okay. All right, now we're over top of those. All right, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check everything out here. Do some flipping and looking. Okay, we're going to go to the back. Still a little cold right here. There you go, son. Cord here. I'm gonna try to go down, get close as I can to the horns. Okay, we're getting near the base of these horns right here. And this is gonna be the tricky part. Excuse me. Flip it back over. I'm gonna stand him up here a little. Okay, now when I get to that horn, horn so I can be for sure that I'm around it good. I'm gonna go right here and you see, if you look close, you can see where the hide meets the horn there's a little layer and you just want to go around that take your time start up a little higher take the hide with it and peel down go all the way around this animal at least go all the way around three quarters of the way that way when you know you punch through, you, you'll feel it and you won't cut up on this horn because they're kind of delicate, honestly. You, you can slice right through one and not realize it if you ain't careful. We're going to peel down on it and we're going to make a cut across. Okay. Around there. Now we're going to try to go in here. Okay, now once we cut down onto the skull, we're going to take, push the knife in, under, loosen everything up we can. Okay. Now, once we're under and we've loosened it, okay, I can feel my cut under, it's not real hard to push. Put my knife in, and I'm gonna make a cut across. Easier to get to the other horn this way, isn't it? Yeah, you can go straight across, because it is very hard to try to cut that out without making a cut. I'm not too much worried about saving the hide, but I'm gonna retain it later. I can fix anything I cut. Pretty hard to hard to cut down a lot on thin layer at first. Make sure they got plenty of room to see. Turn it back up enough. To... And then the next one, we turn around the same way. Now get it back, go back a little on this view. See right here's the higher line. You're gonna make a cut. Remember this been frozen for a long time. So go around, around that soft spot. You'll feel it right at the higher line. It's right at the higher line, guys. So. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, there you go. You get through where you'll know it. It's mainly feel and go, feel and go. Remember, insert your knife again. find our other cut. Make sure you throw on the record as long as you think, okay? I don't know how long. I have about three minutes and okay. some seconds left. We'll have to do another segment. Oh, man. You... Broke the knife, guys. See how tough? Broke the knife. Oh, see. yeah. That sucker's tough. On that forehead part of that scar. Yeah, guys, we're going to have to Coming all Get right another knife. We're good from that. I got it. I mean, this will work for a second, but. I'll make it work. Now, you when you get see down how here, this is. make sure you're back where they can see. But yes. Now, you want to take and go down toward. It ain't always be perfect, so. Go back to the top where we made our cut, and then we're going to start peeling around. Pulling it down like before. There's hardly any room between the skull and the heights. It's hard to peel, really hard. Okay. Normally I would just cut right straight down toward the nose. If it was a deer, just to get the hide off it. There it is, it's punched through right here. You can feel it. And then you want to come back up. And somewhere, something's got to give, so you got to make an incision somewhere. You know, I'm not a professional at this, but I'm going to come back up toward the top. Where I made my incision around the horn. That ought to give me the slack here in a minute that I need to peel it on down. Okay. Now we're gonna come on down. We're gonna have to stop recording here in a second because we're about out of time here to Record. I want to start over again in a minute. Let you guys see this finished up. It'll be just a skull here in a minute, and then we'll show you the cleaning process, how to get the meat off, everything out, and then the way you just have nothing but the skull and the horns, which is some things you have to do to put around these so they don't get messed up in the process. Bleaching and etc. Remember, we peeled all the way up under that, so just go under. We're gonna go between here and make a cut. Straight down the side here to lay it over. One side, you're gonna have to cut something, so we'll be right back. But here's what it's gonna be. Come back in a minute. 